ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் லோக்கஸ்ட் ஸோ லோக்கஸ்ட் இஸ் அன் ஓப்பன் சோர்ஸ் லோ டெஸ்டிங் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் தட் அலோஸ் அஸ் டு சிமுலேட் தௌசண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஈவன் மில்லியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் யூசர்ஸ் ஹிட்டிங் தி அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆர் வெப்சைட் இட்ஸ் டிசைன் டு பி ஈஸி டு யூஸ் it's highly scalable and provides detailed real time reporting so we have lots of tools in the market so why should you consider using locust for your performance testing needs so the first reason that you should consider locust is locust is a python powered simulation so locust is scriptable in python which means you can write your test scenarios using a language that's both powerful and widely used in the industry so you remember we had a session on k6 in our previous video which is basically powered using js the javascript and this locust is powered by python and when it comes to distributed testing locust allows us to distribute our load test across multiple machines making it perfect for testing applications that are designed to scale and then when it comes to real time metrics we can get access to real time insights and metrics allowing us to monitor the system's performance as the test progresses and finally when it comes to ease of use with a clean and intuitive interface creating and running test in locust is breeze even for those who are new to performance testing so now let's see step by step on how to install the locust so i have created a folder in my mission for locust so let me cd into so i have cd into locust and the first step is to install python so i'm installing python sorry uh, let me install python with the proper command which is pip 3 install locust so the basic thing here is you should have python installed in your machine and once you have installed python you can directly start installing the locust and now we have installed the locust already so now we will validate the installation and for that i'm entering locust minus v so this will give that whether we have the proper locust installed in our machine So now we are done with the installation it's just two steps it's just in fact three steps so the first part is the installing the python and once you install your python you have to install locust and once you install your locust you have to validate your installation and with that we are done with our locust setup so it's very easy to set up in in, in fact in comparing to any other tool this is a very quick thing to set up in your machine So now we will move on to the very first test and since i told you it's mainly written in python so this is essentially a python program using which you're going to make request to the system that we want to test so in this particular test that we are going to do or we are going to test is it's basically a get request and i'm going to get the response from this particular request and for that i'm going to start with the from locust where i'm going to import the http user and task and then i'm creating a class the hello world user for the http user and i'm defining the hello world the program the self program and here is the get request so i'm now ready with the get request and once you are ready with your request go back to the partial or the command prompt and then enter hello cust so this will start the local host in the machine so here you can see the http 8089 port and the locust is started so now i'm going to open the request so here you can see so when compared to the previous the k6 tool we don't have the boring interface in fact it looks completely in the command prompt but here when it comes to locust we have a intuitive a kind of a tool which tells you how does it work and what does we do in this test so now we will start our first load test 
So to start the load test, let's open the local host 8089 port number and number of users are here. We can set the number of users and when it comes to K6, we have to enter them as part of the code. But here we can easily enter that in the UI screen here. So I'm going to give just two users and the user started the spawn rate is going to be like just two seconds and then the host which we have already given in the script so in case if you want to add the duration of this test we can add it here so for now I'm going to add as 20 seconds and let me start swimming so this will start the test for us So one reason which the test has not started is I have not given the host data here. So I'm now entering the host data and let's now start the swimming. And before that, let me increase the user count and the spawn rate to two and the advanced option to be 20 seconds. And I'm starting the test now. So now you can see there are two users with eight rate per second. And here you can see 41, so close to 42.8 rate per second and the number of request is hitting started hitting and here we can see the 90th percentile the response time the 99th percentile the response times and everything that comes here is in milliseconds so the average response time the minimum the maximum and the average size that is the throughput so here it's it's very easy to do you have a very intuitive screen and in fact we have multiple other tabs so we can have the result in the charts section so in case if you want to create the result the report to share it with the stakeholders you can use this reports the chart section here and then you have the failures in case if you find any failures you can get it from here and then when it comes to exceptions so in case if you have any exceptions you can get it from the screen and the current ratio and then finally the download data so in case if you want to extract your data so here you can extract the data in the csv file 